You guys, it is your boy Codex back with another video and today I'll be talking about how you can properly fix GeForce now. I'll be showing some new steps on how to do it. And yeah, okay, for anybody that doesn't know, this is how I look. Um, and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and if it worked for you. And share with anybody or everybody that you can. I'm trying to grow so please help me out there and thank you please enjoy the video peace so guys for the first quick and easy step what you want to do is go into your settings and you want to go to net network you want to go to network reset and click on that so what this does is it removes your adapters and updates it if it needs to be updated and it takes away all the junk files and everything that's slowing your internet down from your connection from your Wi-Fi router or router however you guys pronounce it to your PC so guys that's the first thing you can do and that's pretty simple you just press restart now it will say okay starting shutting down in a few and then get your PC back up so guys for the next little part what I will be doing is putting a link in the description so what you guys want to do is you want to go to the link in the description which will take you to file dropper and you'll see the URL and the embedded and what you will say there will be a little button that says download you want to click on that this will appear and you want to do the little survey or type thing and you want to download it so there the file is just downloaded so now what you want to do is you're gonna have to have WinRAR installed on your PC so that you can yeah <laughs> can have the file um, what you can do is you can extract the file onto your desktop So as you can see there is a raw file, so you can just drag it and put it over there on your desktop, close that out, and go on to GeForce Now settings. Go into GeForce Internet options and apply all of these tweaks, so you double click on all of them, it will run it through your CMD and then press any key to continue. Do this for all of them guys. And once that's done, you can close out of that and let's get on to the next step. So guys, once again, we are back on the actual GeForce Now launcher. And what you want to do is go into your settings of GeForce Now. So once you're in your settings, you will see all of these settings that you don't know what's going on normally you would have it on balance but what you want to do is change it to custom mess around with your bitrate or entering um, Fortnite I suggest turning off these two these three options so vSync unless you want vSync network status it shows a little green type thing in the bottom in the left of the screen it's annoying and it just for poor network connections just makes the game look so bad so if you guys follow the steps in my other video and you saw that I applied a commands to the to the files of GeForce now I messed around with the files this will appear and you always want to have direct mouse input turned then guys what you can do if you are really really lagging and it doesn't want to work you can switch to 720p which is if you scroll all the way down and you click on here and you can switch to 30fps that does help but I feel like it will make your game look at the garbage another thing is you can change your server location to auto when starting up windscribe 
and then when you launch Fortnite it will say okay what's the best server for Winscribe and then you want to change to that server that it says it's best suited for so guys another thing that I've tested is if you go into GeForce now and you have really good internet you can try putting your internet up to your speed of your internet using speedtest.net and you can just adjust it and if you put it all the way up and you test your game it should run smoother for some people so that's another thing you guys can try and yeah, yeah, yeah. guys another thing is WLAN optimizer which you can get for free I put it in one of my old videos and what you want to do is you want to make sure these two options are on and these two options are on and this able auto config should be off and that's how it should look it should be connected to your wireless WLAN card ah, LAN card and it should be running in the bottom right and yeah that is WLAN optimizer and as well as timer resolution is also in my old videos you can go check that out as well so unfortunately guys that is all i have for you guys today i have not found any other fixes yet what you guys can do is you guys can go check out other channels see if they have any better fixes but for now that is all i can provide you guys with if that does not work then i am really sorry i will have to go look and search for more fixes and maybe play around with my pc and see what happens but thanks guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe comment if it worked or if it did not work and i hope you guys enjoy your day